During your pregnancy, if a emphalocele has been detected um, at a previous ultrasound, you will come to UCSF and your initial evaluation will involve a couple of different things. Number one, you will receive a detailed ultrasound of the baby, looking at all the different organ systems to try and identify uh, whether or not any other abnormalities are present, and in addition to as get as much information as we can about the emphalocele itself. The next ultrasound that we typically recommend is a ultrasound called a fetal echo, which is a detailed ultrasound just of the heart. Um, Following that information, once we have both the detailed ultrasound and the fetal echo, we can talk to you about the pros and cons of undergoing an amniocentesis if you have not already had that. An amniocentesis is just a way of looking at the chromosomes of the fetus and helping us to decide whether or not some other uh, chromosome abnormality exists. The next stage of your pregnancy is managed with ultrasounds looking at the growth as well as the emphalocele, which we do about every four weeks or so. And in addition, we start non-stress tests at about 30 to 32 weeks gestation. Non-stress tests or antenatal testing is a way of assessing the baby's well-being. We know that with emphalocele, as well as some other birth defects, that there can be a higher risk of stillbirth. At these testing, we measure the fluid around the baby, and in addition, we put a monitor on, the, on your abdomen and monitor the baby's heartbeat for approximately 20 minutes or so. And again, it's just a way of reassuring ourselves that the baby is doing okay.